Hey guys, this is Wrangler here with a little tutorial on UDK. I'm going to teach you how to add a proper flashlight to your character and it'll help you rotate fully with the character as the character is aiming. As I'll show you here. Your character will come in the game and as you can see he has a flashlight. Flashlight moves with the gun up and down as the camera moves. Uh, this is something that we'll work on. And yeah, hopefully we'll get to work. So, first you're going to start off with one of UDK's uh, basic levels. Uh, probably do the night lighting one because that will be the darkest. Let's add... Let's add... <clears throat> This is their directional light, so you probably want to, if you, if, if you don't see it right away, you want to click on the binoculars that say find actors, and this is the dominant directional light right here. Open that up, maybe double click it to find it, and then you're going to hit F4 to bring up the properties. Brightness here says 2. Now, in order to see the flashlight effect, I'm going to take it down some. Um, as you can see here, you can drag it left or right, or you can enter your own number. So once this, that is done, I want you to open up your content browser. Mine's already down here at the bottom of the screen, but if you can't find it, it's the little U symbol up here in, where the cursor is. You click on that. That brings it up down here and actor classes and we want to look up a movable spotlight we want movable because we want it to move with the character so once you find spotlight movable drag it onto the stage something else you might want on the stage which the new level already has is a player character or a, a player start which you can do that the same way you just open up the content browser again and type in player and there it is right there player start if you don't have one all right so find our flashlight our movable spotlight you move it pretty much to where the character starts at so as you can see on our player start it has a little arrow it points you in the direction that the character goes and you want the flashlight to be somewhat relative to where that is. You can also see that the spotlight is facing down. So you'll need to rotate it 90 degrees. There we go. Um, and first thing, the easiest way to do it right now is open up Kismet, which is the green K, right with your light selected, right click in here, and select new object bar variable using spotlight movable. So I want to do that first. And something else we're going to do is going to right click, new action, actor. Attach to actor. Now, we'll put this over here. We need a second variable, which is the player. New variable. I just right clicked again. You got a new variable, player, player. Now, this is going to do a flashlight, or it's going to attach it to all players. For right now, we just have one player. So, you want to fix all players to be uncheck all players. So, it's just player zero. That is the target. The attachment is the movable, the spotlight movable. Uh, second thing, you're, third thing you're going to need, or the next thing, is a new event for when the level is loaded. Level loaded invisible, connected to end. So basically, it's telling you that when the level is loaded, you want to attach the spotlight to the player. Now, inside the level loaded click on it and reset max trigger count to zero as you know this means it'll always happen and that'll start like that 
So let's uh, let's build everything. Let's make sure my flashlight is working. I'm just gonna I'm gonna add a I'm gonna add a color to it. You can do whatever you want. This is just so it's noticeable. Okay. Let's move it up here some. Um, again, these are all things that you can mess around with to better tone how you like your flashlight. That's um, as you can see, you can see some blue showing up here in the uh, in the sh in the shot. We'll, uh, we'll up the brightness a little bit to like a five or something. You can start to see it. But let's let's test this out. Let's hit play. As you can see, there's a flashlight. Uh, something else you want to do is go to View, World Properties, and type in Game. Default game type, make sure it is a UT deathmatch game. That way, you'll have a gun, you'll have all the, the health. There you go. And you can see that the flashlight is attached to your gun. But the only issue with this is in first person that it does not rotate with the gun. As you see, it does not go further down. Um, you can't see that it goes further up because there's nothing above me, but it does not go further down. To fix this, the first thing I found out is you hit tab to open up the command prompt and you type behind view. And as you can see now, Still not doing it. Couple ways to fix this. You go back to Kismet. You go to attach to actor. Phone name. You use B underscore right hand. That will. I think my flashlight is not close enough to my character. So let's so let's try something else here. Let's move this a little bit. Yeah. There we go. So now as you see, as the camera moves down, the light goes down with the gun. Um, like I said, you had to go into Kismet. And in your attached to actor section, you will type in a bone name of B underscore right hand. Now, the only bad thing is, yeah, you say, I had to type that in every single time to use the flashlight. As soon as I start the game, it's going to start me in first person mode, and the flashlight's not going to work properly. So I need to type in behind view every single time? No. We will fix that for you now. So back in Kismet, right click, new action, and go to miscellaneous. Inside miscellaneous, you will find console command. In console command, you see there is commands you can enter inside here. And you want to enter behind view. Hit enter. Now save it. Now, again, when your level is loaded and visible, you want to tell the console to automatically look for the behind view. Hit play. Really? No, no, I'm sorry. It's not loaded and visible. It is beginning of level. As we went to beginning of level into console command. These things are a little bit tricky.
Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Inside there's a target section. And there, right click, new variable, player, player. Drag target to players, and again, for players, check off all players. Make sure it's just one. Um, so yeah, beginning level, console command, player zero. And this should fix everything. And there you go. Your character started from the beginning of the game with the flashlight that moves with the character up and down. Again, you will have to, uh, as you can see, it's not centered, but all you have to do is take the, the movable spotlight here and actually move it to where it, regular, it pertains to the player. As you can see, mine is too far left of the player start. That doesn't make sense because it looks like it's too far. Looks like it's too far right. But we'll keep moving it to the right some. That's probably a little bit too far. But see, we're, we're getting there. You just you just gotta play around with the some. And that's all. That's how you add a movable flashlight for your character. This way you can have lots of Han and Hori, Han and Horror, Haunted Horror games, horror games, whatnot, with a flashlight. You play with the sum, you get that to work out like I did in my original level. I uh, hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks.